and welcome to our James Street apartment. For parking, you can use either side of the street here and across the road as well. This is all free parking, so please use any that you'd like. And for the main building, the door isn't locked, so find the number 26 in the green door, then follow the hall in. Our apartment door is just immediately on the right here, 26A. The key safe just on the right hand side of the wall. Pull the flap down and then enter the code that we've provided. The wee switch in the middle here, you just pull that down to reset the code. Once you've entered the code, take the dial at the top, turn clockwise, and then you can remove the key. Just please make sure that you replace the, the lock and make sure it's secure. And you can reset the code. Pop the flap back up. For the key, it is just one key and it goes into the, the door, turning to the left. Welcome to the apartment. To lock the door when you're inside, we do have the wee chain that you can pop in and you can lock the door like that for some extra privacy as well as the, the key in the lock which you can do like this. And into the bathroom. But we have the shower, just the slidey door. And coming in, we've got the overhead shower and the handheld as well, which can be taken off on the right hand side dial just here. Let's turn this down the way to go hot and clockwise and up to get colder. And to turn the power on, you have the dial just on the left. You want to turn this one just to the back, which puts the, the shower on. To change the overhead, you want to take this dial here and you just want to pull it up. This turns this one off and then turn it again further. which turns the shower head on. And again off, just by turning the dial. Bathroom fan comes on automatically with lights and the hot water is uh, off the combi boiler. So just, once you start it, just give it a second and then it'll start warming up. The radiator, run to the right to fully close them which shuts the valve and cools it down. If you want to warm it up fully to the left, which opens the valves and I'll warm the radiator up. And this is the same on all the radiators throughout the property. Into the second bedroom. We have our two bedside lights and radiator. The radiators throughout the whole property are all the same, controlled on each of the valves just here. Again, you want to turn them all the way clockwise and that cools the radiator down and if you want to warm them up fully to the left and you want to do that on both valves. And into the master bedroom, we have our blackout blinds pull them down on the cords just here and just here. We have our bedside lamps on either side and the radiator. Again, the same in the whole property. You want to turn fully to the right to close them, fully to the left, this way, which opens them up and warms the radiators up. And in the top drawer of the chest of drawers, we keep our hair dryer. And into the lounge, we have our smart TV on the wall. If you take the remote, it's a Samsung, you just tap the on button, it'll pop on. And if you want to activate our free view, you want to put it onto the guide, so click and hold. Tap this one, bring up the, the Samsung preview. You can then scroll through any of the channels that you'd like. And once you find the one that you like, press the OK button and that'll take you to the, the channel. To get to the home menu, to get to the smart TV functions, press the home button. You can then use the, the arrows just here and you can cycle through all the different apps that you'd like to, to watch. So 
click into each of them. You can sign into like your Netflix account and everything. Just please make sure to sign out when you depart. And then when you're finished, just top button to pop it off. The thermostat in the property is in the lounge here. So you can set your temperature and it'll tell you how long it'll take to get to that temperature. And you can turn it back down. The Wi-Fi in the property, the hub is just here, so it's an OTB box. And if you ever need to put this off, it's just controlled on the wee switch just on the left hand side. Just pop that off, give it a few minutes and then put it back on if it does need reset. That's how to do it. We've got the lamp just to the side, which is controlled just with this here. And again, the heating in the lounge on the radiator is the same as the other ones. You want to find the valve just here, fully into the right cools the radiator down and fully to the left warms the radiator up. The gas fire is not in commission, it's not in use, it's just for decoration, so uh, into the kitchen. We have our hob and oven, so to put the hob on you want to click and hold the on button here. Once this pops up you then want to select what section of the hob you'd like to use so just tap this one you then hold the power button and you can see the power increases up to nine at the most this will then warm up once you put the pan on it it is an induction so it won't work until then then you can put the power back down with the minus button to turn it off click and hold this button here and that puts it off to use the oven we have two dials if you press them in they'll pop out and that's the same on the other side for the temperature. On the left hand dial this is the settings, if you turn once to the right this is the fan oven setting and the right hand dial. If you adjust this by turning clockwise and anti-clockwise you can see the temperature increasing. And once you're done please make sure just to pop the dial back to the centre off position and you can hear the power goes off. For the extractor fan, just the settings underneath, the one switch to the side, puts the lights on, and then the other does the fan, and then you can put these off. We've also got a secondary fan in the kitchen, just up here, on the top left hand side. This is controlled just with the V switch on the wall, just here. And you can hear that the fan just starts as well, just to give you a couple different extractors. The microwave is controlled just by moving the green dial here you want to just turn it once to the left and then to the right and it, you can turn to your your time so in this case three minutes then press the, the start button if you want to stop at any time or add any time just press the stop and then you can just hit start again if you want to stop it completely just press this button twice and our washing machine top right button here if you just press this in this will put the power on you can see the wee screen lights up you then want to take the dial and you want to turn this to any setting that you'd like you can see the settings will change and then once you're happy you press the start button and the cycle will start in the drawer just top left here you've got the room for your conditioner and your fabric softener just in the middle and once the cycle's finished just please make sure just pop it off at the top Thank you. And the water in the property is all run off our gas combi boiler, so it's instant hot water. You've got the hot tap on the left and the cold on the right. Just let it run for just a second and then the hot water will start coming through. The kettle and the toaster just powered on the back. For the kettle, just the wee switch on the side, you can see the light illuminate to show that it's on. For the toaster, you've got the dial just in the middle, just here. You can turn this either side to increase the temperature and then just push down the dial. We've then got our fridge freezer just in the corner with an ice cube tray for you to start. And just under the kitchen sink we have our 
fire extinguisher, fire blanket, uh, and our first aid kit in here as well. And um, we've got our iron as well for you. And um, recycling, we have our general waste on the right hand side, which is labelled. You then have our mixed recycling and our glass recycling. We have our gas combi boiler in the property. Um, there's no need in, in using this or touching it, it's just for reference. If we do need a, any diagnostics from you or any pictures, this is where it is and we will ask you for it. If you do have any problems, please give us a call. And when you're departing, just the same as when you arrive, take the key, just make sure the door is locked, give us a check, key safe just on the side and again just the same code that you were provided, just pull this down to reset it and then input the code. And then once that's done, again, clockwise, to open the safe. And then just hang the key just inside. And just check that it's all locked. Put the lid back up. And for the general waste and recycling, if you do have time, just out the back door in the garden, this is where the, the bins are all stored. So the green and the blue are both recycling, and then the grey bins, general waste. And to depart, just straight through the hall and out the green door at the end. Thank you very much for staying with us at Juniper Rentals. We hope to welcome you back soon.